In this video, I want to talk about the unforgivable sin. So it's a video basically for Christians, really, not uh, people who are not Christians. If you're not a Christian, I would suggest you don't watch this video because it may cause confusion and whatnot um, about Christianity and such like. This video is very strictly for Christian people, people who don't know what the unforgivable sin is, or who are scared that they may have committed it, um, I will be making a second video about how we can avoid committing the unforgivable sin. I should be listing sort of seven, eight, maybe nine or ten ways we can avoid committing the unforgivable sin. Anyway, the unforgivable sin is talked about in the Gospels. There is um, a part of the Gospels uh, where Jesus is healing a man with a shriveled hand and uh, the people around the Jewish leaders accuse him of having a demon and being and, and casting healing through the power of the demon rather than be accepting him as the son of God. So basically we get a hint of what the unforgivable sin is uh, through that encounter that Jesus has with the um, religious leaders. So basically what the unforgivable sin is, is, is it is apostasy. What apostasy is, is it's when you're a Christian and you have not just believed in Christ, but actually had an experience of him. You know you met with the living God, you know you met with Jesus, but later on down the line you choose to reject him, basically stick two fingers up in his direction, say, I don't believe you're divine, I don't believe you're fully good and I'm going to leave you, I'm going to leave the church and leave uh, the Christian faith and not only that but I'm going to encourage other people not to bother with Christianity. That person who walks away in that situation becomes what is called an apostate. That they cannot be renewed again to repentance as Hebrews 6 says because they're crucifying the Son of Man all over again and crucifying Jesus again. So basically, when Jesus, but before we become a Christian, we stand in direct opposition to Jesus Christ. We hate him because that's our sinful nature. Our sinful nature hates him. We hate everything about God and we stand as his enemy in our hearts. But when we become a Christian, when we accept the conviction of the Holy Spirit and Christ comes to dwell in us and we have an experience of him, we become friends with God we become in right relationship with him. We start to realise that God is divine, he is fully good, and all the attributes of his characters should be accepted because they are all good, and that is the truth of it. So, of course, in this friendship with, with Jesus, if we then decide, you know, we're not going to believe that any, we're not, we're not going to uh, call his divine nature divine, we're not going to believe that he's good, um, we're going to believe again as we were before we were Christians that, that we hate God and we hate Jesus and we stand opposed to him then we cannot that Jesus cannot die again to bring us back into right relationship with us in that context we've already pushed him away you know fully and definitely for the second time now let me make it clear the unforgivable sin isn't somebody who merely believes in Jesus and then walks away from the Christian faith, having never experienced him. That is not a, an apostate. That is not somebody who's committed the unforgivable sin. And in most cases, people who walk away from the Christian faith are going to be those people that merely believed and didn't really have a revelation of Jesus. They didn't. They never really met with the living God. They never really knew that God was good, or is good rather. Uh, but rather, they believed these things. Now, Christians who are on the pathway of, of, of belief, who, are, who merely believe in Jesus but have not had a revelation of him, will eventually, if they stay on that path, they will get that revelation. If they throw themselves on the mercy of God and ask every day for a revelation of Jesus Christ, they will, they will get that, that that will happen. But obviously, if they then walk away from that, that road, um, God could still call them back and God can still forgive them. It's not the unforgivable sin if they merely believed in him and walked away. I'm talking a very specific 
somebody who actually became a, it becomes a Christian, it becomes born again, and has the Holy Spirit working in them and knows that the Holy Spirit is in them, then decides, you know, I don't like God anymore, I'm not going to follow him, and walks away. Now, some Christians watching this will, might think that this isn't possible, but unfortunately it is. And I've seen some of this on the internet. It, it is possible, it is possible to be an apostate, unfortunately and very sadly. Now, I'm not saying that anybody who appears like this on the internet is an apostate. We don't have a right to accuse someone of apostasy because we don't know who the apostates are from the ones who are not. Because God says quite clearly in his word, the wheat will grow with the chaff. You won't know the chaff from the wheat until it's, it's gathered. the wheat is gathered into the barns and the, 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 the chaff is burned. We don't know. We don't know if somebody has committed the unforgivable sin or not. Um, usually the person themselves will will not be aware either because they're not even interested in God anymore. They're not interested in Jesus, not interested in repenting because they stretch up their two fingers up at, at Christ after they had known he, he is good and after they'd known he is just and loving. They still t stick two fingers up and say, oh, I don't like what you've written in the Bible. I don't like this. I don't like that. And they walk away. So usually somebody who is an apostate will not care either way whether they are or they're not they just don't care about jesus anymore and have walked away so um that hopefully that will help people who feel afraid that they may have committed the unforgivable sin i will say although it's hard to commit the unforgivable sin it is not difficult to start down that that, that road and we need to make sure we put safeguards in place to stop us from ever going ever in, anywhere near that place. And I'll be talking about those safeguards in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.